turn to some money matters. About 374,000 people filed for their first week of unemployment benefits last week. That's 66,000 more than the week before. And that's all numbers coming from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. In fact, it's the largest one-week rise since November of last year. And the government shutdown is partly to blame. So if you're out of work or you know someone who's looking for a new job, we have Pando Daily's Kim McNicholas here with us to talk about some of the technology trends in job interviewing. And, and Kim, first of all, welcome. And secondly, what are you seeing out there in terms of technology trends? Well, one of the biggest things right now is that we're no longer seeing as many in-person interviews mm -hmm. and we're not seeing as many phone interviews. We're seeing webcam interviews, right. whether it's Skype, whether it's Zoom, and Zoom is an HD video conferencing technology that allows them to um, employers to potentially record their interview just like that mm -hmm. and pass it along to other people within their organization to review. I teach at San Francisco state a lot of students going through job interviews tell me that they're doing more and more Skype interviews yes oh they, they definitely are especially students there's a company interview stream that started back in 2003 at universities helping students prepare for their their careers there are other ones out there higher view mm -hmm. which is also uh, another company that actually provides this on-demand digital video interview technology for companies to use in order to vet out candidates online 25 million dollars in Wow. investment. This is how big the market is right now and how popular it is. And companies are springing up every single day trying to help employers make the hiring process a lot easier and mm -hmm. bring it online. Tell us a little bit about how this process works. Okay, so basically if you are applying for a job with a large corporation, let's say IBM for example, which yeah. does use interview stream, well you are going to get an email from the employer there if they're interested in mm -hmm. you and every other candidate is going to get that same email that is going to have a playlist of pre-recorded questions. So all of these questions are on camera mm -hmm. and they're taped individually. And after every single question, you're going to look right into your camera and you're going to answer the question. And that then, really has to be disconcerting for some it's people. It's intimidating. First, first of all, you have, you have the pressure of the job interview. You want the job. Right. And then secondly, now I'm talking to a computer screen. Right. Uh, what are some tips that you can offer people who find themselves going through this process? Well, first off, um, I bet you would do a really good job at it. You look in a camera all the time, right? <laughs> that's true. That's, that's a good point. I hadn't thought about that. Hopefully, I won't need to use it. But a couple of the things. Just make sure, first off, to make sure your, your camera is set at eye level. I think that's incredibly important. A lot of people have web webcams at the top of their yes. computer screens mm -hmm. and that makes it easier but if you don't then put books underneath your computer oh, to, make, to bring it up to sure. eye level. Mm -hmm. Also, when you're framing it, make sure that you do have um, it, you know, framed from chest to up. Um, make sure you're in a well-lit area, windows in front of you, not yes, behind not you. Yes, not behind you because then that <laughs> makes you look like a silhouette, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. And also, I, I saw this, this was a sample that was out there as, a, as a, um, an interview horror example, is make sure if you're interviewing at Yahoo, do not have a Google poster right behind you. <laughs> so Good do idea. check the background. A white background wall is, is better. Important. Better than than anything else. Also, dress professionally. I mean, sure. of course, is you know, if you're sitting behind the desk, you don't have to have anything special from the waist down, but from the waist up, still collared shirt is great. Yeah. Some sort of blouse, um, coat and tie for a mm. more um, blue chip company. And also, I would think that that just adds to to your persona that you're feeling. You're dressed professionally. You're going to yes. act more professionally yes. on camera. Mm -hmm. uh, there's always that issue with connections. Oh my goodness, you need to test your connection. And one of the things I love about some of these professional technologies that, that are out there mm -hmm. in which the corporations are using um, is they test your internet speed. Sure. And so make sure you have at least 1.2, 1.5 megabits per second, both upload and download. Right. Now, again, when you're talking to the screen, there's a tendency to kind of be a little bit un unnerved by the whole situation. Uh, I would think it's important to maintain eye contact with that screen, as difficult as that might be. Right. And especially if you're using um, a, a Skype, um, yes. a less professional, in a sense, mm -hmm. um, interview technology, um, your monitor is going to be there. You're going to see yourself. If you can, turn it off yeah. because you don't want to have any sort of shifty eyes. Just keep looking in the camera because if you look elsewhere, they're going to think, hmm, this person, are they telling us exactly. the truth? Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's a really good tip. Also, I would think um, 
Don't just blurt out anything. Take a moment. Think about Thanks. what you're saying. And especially with these new technologies, they actually have a countdown in between questions if you're doing oh, the pre-recorded really? ones. So the question <laughs> will come up, and then it says three, two, one, and then you have. You're supposed to go. Exactly. Oh. And also, don't forget to sit up straight. It's so easy when you're at home to want to just slouch. Just slouch. And one, yeah. you move out of frame, mm -hmm. and two, it, it just looks unprofessional. And I think one tip to add too would be make sure the kids are out of the room. Yes. <laughs> make sure make sure you're in a room. Really quiet place. <laughs> the kids and the pets. Yeah. And turn off your email notifications on Good your computer point. because yeah. one of the interesting things is that you can now share your screen with the potential employers. Yeah. And so if you're sharing your screen and you have a notification from Match.com that your new matches are in, <laughs> <laughs> don't want to go there. Yeah. Um, it, it would it would seem that having to practice all this, it'd be good maybe to talk to somebody via Skype, a friend, a family member, something like this to kind of practice. I think people, especially the young people these days with you know how, how much people are using FaceTime, FaceTime. and Skype sure. and Tango and, mm -hmm. and all of the other um, you know video um, text messaging type technologies um, I mean I'm, I'm actually launching some it's Kimmerview it's a way you can practice interviews online mm -hmm. it's in beta but if you it want you can contact me and I'll, I'll get you on if you have a job interview oh you okay want to practice for so there you go <laughs> all right Kim McNicholas thank you so much from Panda Daily really some excellent tips on where the technology is heading now for job interviews. Yes. Yeah, thanks a lot for joining us. We'll be right back.